Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to TIE Fighter Reimagined. I'm Computer, and last episode, we signed a deal. We now have the hyperdrives for the TIE Advanced, or the Avengers, if you will. And uh, that's pretty much it, I feel, except we still have the problem of the Norwalks. I don't think that they've given up, and neither, of course, have the Rebels. So I think, I hope, we get to deal with them today. So let's go and see if that's the case. Seems it might be. Maybe. Imperial intelligence has received reports that the Nawak are trying to follow through with their threat to hand over their version of the hyperdrive technology to the rebels. Though they've taken heavy losses in recent days, the remaining Nawak forces appear to be throwing in their lot with the rebels and have set up a rendezvous with a rebel frigate. This cannot be allowed. In light of our new treaty and their gratefulness at the recent defense of their homeworld, the Habin will join us in a combined assault against this meeting. The Habin frigate Lendover will join the modified frigate Seamus and its escorting corvettes where we will jump to this meeting and engage the enemy. You will be flying an assault gunboat designated Tau-1, armed with concussion missiles. Your primary objectives will be to destroy the rebel frigate Xerxes and as much of the Narwak forces as you can, as well as defending our own capitals from enemy torpedo runs. The Imperial 2-class Star Destroyer Glory will soon be returning from delivering the new hyperdrive technology to help us secure the system and deal with the Narwak once and for all. With the Rebels' involvement, you can expect to face the usual array of Rebel Starfighters, including the deadly A-Wing. Oh. Assault gunboats against A-Wings? Not a good combination for us. But uh, let's get on with Intelligence it. Intelligence sources have reported that the Narwaks have arranged a meeting with the Rebels to sell the new hyperdrive technology to them. What's left of the Narwak fleet is rendezvousing with a Rebel frigate in a nearby sector to make the transfer. Along with our new Habin allies, the modified frigate Seamus will lead an assault to disrupt the meeting. It is critical we stop the Rebels from gaining this technology. Once our forces arrive, assault gunboats Tau along with Habin Z-95s will engage enemy fighters and clear the way for our bombers to destroy the frigate and any other support ships. The Imperial 2-class Star Destroyer Glory is on its way back from the first transfer operation and will join us as soon as they can. Intelligence sources right, Intelligence yeah. sources have okay, reported that the Narwaks have arranged a meeting um, with the rebels to sell the new hyperdrive technology. That's weird. But um, either way, gunboats, nice. Against A-wings, not so nice. And the bombers is probably... Well, if we launch enough of them, maybe they will be able to destroy the frigate. Maybe. Or we just wait for the glory to come and finish the job, I suppose. Then again, we have concussion missiles, so those could work against the A-Wings. Except I can never remember how many you need for each of the different ships. Also, this loading is done. Good. Warheads. No choice at all. Really? That's interesting. And we get 16 missiles. Countermeasure, chaff, flare, New I think. Have been now, goals. It's clear skies. 75% of all Narwhal forces must be destroyed. Xerxes must be destroyed. Modified frigate Seamus must not be destroyed. Uh, Lindoba must not be destroyed. That all sounds good. So let's get on with it. Hold up. All ships proceed with a jump to hyperspace. Oh, all right, sure. I'm gonna wait just a little bit. I don't want to get hit from behind. Or rammed from behind. Hmm, phrasing. Anyway, it happened quite often in X-wing Alliance that. There's the frigate. Dispatch the yeah. enemy corvettes first. 
I'm gonna go for X-Wings first, but sure. Assault gunboats tower, engage enemy starfighters. The Z-95 will support clear a path for our bombers. Oh, you're not shooting at me. This is three. I'm having trouble over here. Hey, one. There's a bandit going in for missile lock. This is three. I'm hit. Ooh. Anyway, yes, when you come out of uh, hyperspace like that, every once in a while, your friends will come up straight from behind and just ram you. Um, where's my... Oh, there. Thank you for going straight down. It's appreciated. This is five. I've got a starship firing at me. Oh, no. We've lost two. You're disabled, and now you're dead. This is five. I'm having trouble over here. Oh. Wait, who? What? No one is targeting me. This is three. I'm heavily damaged. That is trying to make a rapid break. Don't let her escape. There you are. That's you disabled. How does it feel? Oh, that's you dead, never mind. Probably not feeling all that much at all now. Where are... Good. That was a bad idea. I'm gonna do that now. Oh, that's not great. Um... Good. Where is that? There. F5. And there you are. Oh, hello. And hello. There. That's fine. That was probably not. You are disabled and now, I think, dead. He loved that when you disable them. Their engines actually cut out and stop glowing, which is awesome attention to details. Like, it's a it's tiny thing. To th like, me, if you're making a model, you might not even think about it being necessary, but that it's there is amazing. shoot at least a few of them. Could have hit more. Good work. You stopped the rebels from gaining the technology. <sighs> With the heavy expertise, Zarin can now complete the tired battle project. Here's where we have the question can they hit me from behind? if they're not uh, aiming for me. Okay, well, why am I not... There we go. That's better. Still not quite done. We could just leave, I guess, but... Um, no one is targeting me, so I guess they're... F Giving about that. Okay. 
Ooh, that was way too close. Whoops, I think I just hit a friend. Again. Um... I mean, the mission is done, 93%. One hundred percent of them are gone. Z ninety five entering hyperspace. Why? Also, I have discovered something rather interesting. Uh, if we're targeting something, well, rather, it's interesting to me. You can. Um, in the original TIE Fighter, you could press O to untarget. In X-Wing Alliance, you have to press Alt-C. However, if you accidentally forget that it's Alt-C and press Control-C, that happens. Which, um, I think is just a way to test uh, that you can destroy... Yes. Nothing is actually destroyed here. Like, um, all systems operational. Everything's fine. Just the graphics is completely bork. Also, I believe it's control home to remove uh, all HUD elements, which is kind of cool too. But with that, let's get on with it. Oh, right. Uh, we do actually need to be able to use it here. And, uh,. Yeah, hold on. Felt like maybe I went all the way into the floor there, but no. Oh. Interesting. Cool. Thank you. Anyway, uh, I've been trying to find a way to get this view. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm digressing now. There we go. show you the improvements we've made to the TIE Advanced. The Emperor is very interested in your progress, Admiral Zarin. Hyperspace capability. Impressive. The first TIE Advanced are now seeing combat. We also have prototypes of the next generation of TIE Fighters. Interesting. The Emperor will want to prototype immediately. Huh. I didn't realize that this battle was this short. Oh! I was wrong, apparently. There is another one with an holographic display like that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Medal of Order. Superb work. We prevented the rebels from gaining access to this prize new technology, eliminated another one of their frigates, and decimated most of the remaining Narwak forces. With their fleets destroyed, their research teams and facilities lost, the Narwak will have no choice now but to submit to the might of the Empire and come to the negotiating table. The Star Destroyer Glory will remain in the area to ensure this outcome and continue to work with our new Habine allies. Sounds great. Also, points in the in that cutscene. One, why would you show the Thai advanced capabilities by having it make bombing runs against stationary targets? doesn't really show off its capabilities, right? And also, that uh, 
entire space station was spinning. If you looked at the stars. Yet, uh, I, I don't know. And, uh, oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, one A-wing, one blast boat, half an X-wing, and three Y-wings. And now I'm marksman second class. Failing ever upwards. Sir, check messages. Thank you, thank you. And... No, we have had the flag already. Ten commander. We did get a medal, though. So that's all good. Second class. Zero percent to the next one. Great. Oh wow, that's a lot. Uh, Narwhal surrender imminent from Zarin. With the defeat of the Narwhal's uh, forces in the last engagement, we fully expect the Narwhal people to finally succumb to the might of the Empire and take a seat at the negotiation table. And uh, negotiating table. Uh, until negotiation and occupation duties are complete, leave will continue to be suspended. We should expect to take uh, occupational footing on their homeworld until relief forces arrive. I still don't really have a clear picture of whether the Narwhal and the Habin are two separate races or not. But their home world here suggests that the Narwhal have their own home world, which suggests again that they're their own species. Medal of Order for your contrib contributions in the conflict. Uh, Mylock 4, uh, you have been awarded the Medal of Order. Your continued service to the Empire at the level of skill you have attained is service to everyone around you. Congratulations. Thank you. You are a nice guy, after all. Encrypted sender, encrypted message. You are being transferred back to Harkov's fleet, but I warn you, pack light. Very light. The Emperor's spies expect a major event that will likely put you in imminent immense even then danger thanks for the warning you may be operating with harkov's fleet for several weeks before events unfold keep your sidearm close again expect word of your official transfer from your commander shortly serve the emperor above all others and there we go we have from chas defron transfer order command has sent order that you are being transferred back to Harkov's fleet effective immediately. The shuttle is departing within the hour. Arrangements have been made to keep... Whoa, that's really quick, though. How do I... Okay, why? Sure, why? All right. Arrangements have been made to keep your possessions in storage for the time being. All right, never mind then. I was thinking, like, how do I pack... Actually, you know what? This is really light stuff. So it probably wouldn't take an hour to pack all of this, but it's being kept in storage. I wonder... I wonder if we'll see that in the next battle. Like this... This room will be empty in the next battle. That would be kind of cool. Don't know if that's possible with the game, though, but uh, that's cool. Also, the thing I was talking about in the hangar was... Uh... Yes, thank you. I still love that they included these. There. In the hangar here... You may have noticed that the YouTube uh, like end screen is always this hanger. It switches the camera randomly all the time. And even if you press zero here, eventually it will go away. And I've been using this to make it a little bit more well, palatable, I suppose. But about every 10 or one second to 20 seconds, it will switch the camera and if I go out of this and then go back it's back so yeah and also if I disable it and press zero again it comes back too so that's all fun but with all of that said and done 
Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been TIE Fighter Reimagined, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.